now we see the part 24 tutorial uh, add list element in the in the, uh, runtime what is list element whichever the element we can visible in the runtime it is called list element the list element which is available in the runtime now i will um, just i will run compile and run the form i will show the run element what are the things available in the list element we already studied what is called the list item in the list element in the list item now first first of all we see here this is my table product table how many items i have i have four items four items namely i1 11 12 13 14 mouse cd and you can see here this is my whatever in the database item this is called list element this list element this list element is visible in the run time whatever i am selecting the same information will go to here actually it uh, same element should be available here also this is what the list element i can see it now so this is what the list element and list this is called list item the list item where we are storing in that i already studied all these things now what exactly i want to do it here here we can see it i created how i can add the list element because in the form builder can you see in the form builder in the list item i already created in the proper sheet the element of list this is a pop list i given mouse mouse this is my list item this list item should match with my database item this element only we are seeing in the run time in the uh, Uh, run time we are seeing in the list item and this is matching and camera four list item i created because database it is four list item what are the things i did it here you can see here it is my layout editor i this is my table 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 da, data block that is table columns i have two columns in the table one is product id one is product name this is what my table actual table and then what i created is this is my text item this text item i did it as you can see in the property palette i can create a text item but i can given the database item is what no it is not non database item because this text item no column is matching in the table Ma table have how many columns only two columns and this is one button i have created what i exactly what is my idea is nothing but suppose i want add any list element that name i will here i will include when i click the button it will take that value and it will add it into the list item so that is what actual my coding i will show my coding add underscore list underscore element this is a built in whatever the function here i given pro name this is nothing but my list item name this is my list item item one is index where it will appear actually you can see in my run time you can see in my run time one this is two this is uh, 3 this is 4 so this is index number 1 2 3 4 this way only it is arranged how it is arranged in the list element you can see here in the list element also the list element also in the element of list 1 2 3 4 so this basis how the order that order only it will appear so that's what we can see that this is a list element so this is called index where my uh, text item whatever i am entering i want to add it the top one top most one i want to add whatever the value here you can see product from the product colon product means colon block name which block name product is a block name dot which text item whatever the text item 13 that's why i given text right come on this is nothing but this is called my list element whatever is available it will appear in the list element the same thing this is called list name it will same name suppose i enter here as monitor same monitor here also coming monitor here also so the list element should match with my database here also you can say mouse here also you can see mouse mouse is available clear or not it is matching both that's why i given two times so this is a syntax now once again we see the syntax add text element list item name that is my product name here i given product name and where car two is list index top one number one it will appear text label list label is nothing but element which i can select in the list uh, in the run time 
list value means it is exactly match with whatever list element it should be stored in my database this way i can add. that's what i given name of the list item for example product name specify the list index value the value list index is one based one two three that like that specify the where car to string that you want to display as a label as a label or element in the runtime available in the list item list value is nothing but the actual list element value you intend to, to add in the list which is stored in the database that's what the this four parameters are available now this what i written in my tutorial now we can see here so what i did it is a data block two data block in the is what only one data block sorry one data block two items i created this is one item i created but it is a non database item why i am not putting display item display item means in the runtime i can't able to enter the value that's why i am not putting in the display item i am putting in the text item because in the runtime i want to navigate i created one button whenever i created button that value to be included where in the list value now we run already we run the form already we are keeping here now we can see this four one now i want to add the value before that what i want to write i want to write the text type suppose i am adding monitor here i want to add the list now you can see how many thing 1 2 3 4 monitor is not here now what i will do is monitor i enter i click it here what it will do whatever in that now you can see monitor is appear suppose i want to do here what i will do is the monitor is available and whatever the values are available here so you can see the values available in the things suppose i want to store also i can store the list values here so this way i can store the values here so now second i am storing so show the another value how it is storing so monitor is number one now whatever value again i am storing that become number one so now i can say monitor instead of monitor now i can give a uh, keyboard keyboard is item now i will add keyboard add list item now you can see keyboard is number one monitor is number two mouse cd1 camera like this now you can see the list item here what i want to suppose what is the purpose what is the doing suppose i want to change the list item values here suppose here 14 is a camera i don't want to 14 as a camera 14 i want to change as a monitor now i will see you can see i save the thing one transaction complete two record apply and saved so now i can go now i can go and see in the variables what are the records i did it you can see cd1 cd1 this is camera and monitor because 12 also i changed cd1 so now i want to change the 12 as cd1 so what i will do it here here i will go then i will go the back side cd1 this not cd1 i will change this is a monitor now i will save again the transaction complete one transaction complete what i will do it here here i will go and check total is monitor here you see cd1 monitor camera and monitor so 14 also monitor 13 also monitor i don't want 14 i want to change as a keyboard now we can go so 12 what i want to do is now i will take 12 as keyboard now again i will see one transaction complete now you can see here suppose you want to see select product now you can see cd1 keyboard keyboard this is what so in the runtime itself we can interact we can add we can save in the form this is a advantage of using the runtime we can use the add the list item here this way we can add the list element list element this is called the list element we can do this is the end of the tutorial